is our so, target. Ooh, let's take a look and see what we got here. Mark Klein. Isn't he the guy who builds those giant, like, like cowboys and dinosaurs and stuff like exactly. that? Exactly. And he has the world's only foam head. It's, foam made, head. it's made out of foam. And I thought that, you know, I just gotta see it. These are the ruins of Foam Hinge. You know why they're the ruins? Because, you know, I'm thinking that, you know, foam is non-biodegradable, it'll last longer than the original one. But right. unfortunately, this is, not, this is not the case here. You know? I think it'd have been fine if everybody didn't feel that they were so compelled to have a little piece of Foam Hinge. It was only meant to last for just a year or two. And here, this was built as an April Fool's joke in 2004. Every year, I do some type of, of an elaborate April Fool's event somewhere in the state of Virginia. I put elephants up on a mountain, you know, and put Hannibal up on it and called it Hannibal Crosses the Blue Ridge. Floated a submarine last year. There's a big ant on a water tower that I did this year that I'm going to take you to. Oh, I can't so wait to you, see it. You wanna, are you ready to climb up a water tower? Hey, that sounds like a horrible idea. <laughs> You're going to love it. Well, now, if you come here during the solstice mm -hmm. and you stood about right here, now this is actually lined up so that it's kind of is like the original Stonehenge where the sun will rise and it'll go through these stones right here, okay? Now, the, it's, the only difference is, is I'm just a little bit off. At the original Stonehenge, okay, the sun comes up through these stones. Right. At my Stonehenge, it comes up through these stones, but I know how to fix that. Okay, okay. do tell. <laughs> yes, there's three ways. I can either move every block over, which would be uh, yeah. just incredibly expensive. Um, we could wait 4,000 years, then it would line up about there, or we could simply move our center over here about you know, three feet, and then, right. then the sun would come up where we want it to. Just, put a just pole, cheat a little just bit. Just put a pole there and mm -hmm. say, hey, by the way, you need there to stand you go, here. That fixes the problem. Right. It needs some... A little TLC, maybe? Yeah, it surely does. Most of these blocks weigh about, about 450 pounds. Okay. You know, <laughs> I, I gotta take something from me. So, <laughs> You made a comment just a few minutes ago that, that, that you know, you're a little odd. I, I might have to say that um, little is maybe an understatement. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> odd. Odd. I don't think no, so. No, 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 I'm sorry. I, I, you said you were off. Off. You're off yeah, a little slightly bit. off. Yeah. You're slightly off. Oh, did I say that? Yes, <laughs> yes. And, yes. and, I'm like, and that's really? not hitting the cutting room floor, I'm telling well, you. I thought I said that the, uh, that the hinge was slightly off. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. I got you. I got you. <laughs> so, Mark, what else are you going to do today? Well, you know, we, we worked on that robot, so we're going to try to put him up today. And you're going to help? Erect it? Erect the robot. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna help. We're gonna we're gonna have a robot erection today. It's always a, a dramatic moment when he's you know actually lifted lifted it up. in the air yeah, and that's that's drop the moment down. you sort of live for. And you get an opportunity for the world to gaze on your robot erection. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't have put it that way, but <laughs> People here in this community now consider this to be their great aunt. 